Hello, I'm Richard Winters, and in this training tip, I want to help us understand what the difference is between a saddle horse and a pack horse. Pack horses are valuable, but pack horses come to this conclusion, that as they're walking down the trail with that big load on their back, it doesn't matter if the load shifts to the left or to the right or forwards or backwards, it means absolutely nothing. It means just go to the happy place and just ignore it. I don't want my saddle horse to think that. I want my saddle horse to know and understand that I'm alive here and communicating with my body. Are you trying to get a little bit better stop? Are you communicating with your body on how to get that better stop? I'm gonna walk off with some life in my body. And when I do get ready to stop, I'm gonna think about shifting my weight, sitting down in my saddle. One trainer said, sit down on your pockets. Ooh. And let that horse feel that change. My horse recognized something happened right there. Richard was no longer walking. Richard's walking now, I bring that life up in my body. My body means something. This is not just a pack horse right here. We're both walking along. I put some weight in the balls of my feet. Ooh. And then perhaps even a step or two backwards. I'm not saying your horse is going to respond well or correctly every time, but this has to have meaning to us and we have to be consistent with it. One horseman said, if it doesn't mean something to you every single time, it won't mean anything to your horse at any time. So we're both walking. I sit up straight and yet shift my weight Ooh. and go right into a backup. You can shift your weight without leaning backwards. I don't think there's ever much reason to lean way forward to go forward or to lean backwards to stop. I shift my weight forward from my pelvis and ask my horse to move out. If they're bent and arced like so much of what we do in the arena, it'll be hard to stop well, especially at speed. Ooh. Shift my weight say that magic word, and go right into a backup. Which brings us to this other point of how we can improve this stop. Well over 90% of the time, when I stop my horse, I draw them backwards. How do many of our friends stop their horses? Like this. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa. And everything's just lurching forward. Think about this next time you stop your horse. I'm pushing my horse forward, I'm riding forward, I'm gonna say that word, ooh, and I'm gonna go right into a backup, then I'm gonna get soft. Now instead of my horse, whoa, ugh, like that, it's whoa, ooh, come back. Now he's in a position to do something athletic. And so I'm gonna think about getting my horse straight, if only for a stride or two, when I say that word. So I'm gonna look all the way down at the end of the arena, Straighten my horse out, Ooh. shift my weight, sit up straight, and draw my horse backward. The other thing that backing that horse will do for you, sometimes your horse is going to stop and he's going to lean on you and push on you. It's the opportunity to put the quality back in the maneuver. Ooh. Draw them backwards, make sure they're not pulling on my hands, and then release. Now I've got a lot of tools at my disposal to stop my horse. He understands the shift of my weight. He understands certainly if I pick up on the reins and he understands that word, whoa. And when you put all three of those things together, chances are your horse is gonna get stopped. Ride forward. Whoa. And I'm gonna hustle him a little bit. Again, this is not a green two-year-old colt. So I'm gonna ask him to try a little bit harder. Straight, Ooh. and back up. I like what one horseman said, I never kick a horse to make him go, and I never pull him to make him stop. I might kick him if he doesn't go, and I might pull him if he doesn't stop. Is there a meaning now, Wiz? Can I ride you forward? Ooh. And so in all practicality, when I say the word whoa, it doesn't even mean stop anymore. Whoa means get back. If we begin to ride like this consistently, it will have more and more meaning to our horse. You've seen some people do bridleless riding demonstrations. 
How in the world does that happen? Where you don't have this steering and brakes with your reins. It happens because from the very first ride, there was meaning in our body. We're both walking. Ooh. I shift my weight and I ask my horse to back up. Ride off in a straight line Ooh. and ask my horse to back up. I sit down on my pockets. Ooh. It all happens from the top of my thighs to right at my belly button. I ride forward Ooh. and ask my horse to back up. Don't let your horse ever think that he's a pack horse. He's a saddle horse, and you're up here communicating with your body, with your voice, with your hands. Don't let your horse be relegated to simply a pack horse that carries around dead weight. But convince them that they are a saddle horse, that you're communicating things with your body. You bring up that life, you shut that back down, that you're being consistent. And it's true, there won't be any meaning to him at first. But through your consistency, ride after ride, that will begin to have more and more meaning to them. This will improve your stop. It will improve all the communication with your horse. I'm Richard Winters, and thanks for watching.